Hello, it's Acacia Developer here, and today we're going to be fixing the diagonal movement on our player controller. So in the last episode we built a large portion of the FPS controller, but unfortunately when the controller moves diagonally, it actually moves a lot faster than it should. So really this is just a small video to fix this issue. If we walk along a single axis, so in this case I'm just walking forward and backward, and left and right on the horizontal axis, we actually move at the normal speeds. But when we start moving diagonally, you may notice that the FPS player moves slightly faster than it should be. And this is a very, very simple fix. So let's just switch to Visual Studio. For this, I need to access my player move script. So you'll want to navigate to the player movement function since this is where we've specified the directions that the player can move in. So in order to stop the player from moving too quickly when moving in a diagonal motion, we can simply use the function vector3.clampmagnitude and we're going to pass in as our first argument the addition of the forward and right movement vectors. The second parameter is going to be the length that we want to clamp it to, and that's going to be 1. Now, instead of multiplying by our movement speed on these two lines up here, I'm going to cut this and delete both of these, and simply multiply by movement speed once down here in the simple move function call. So you can think of clamp magnitude like mathf.clamp but for a vector 3 and we can only specify a maximum value. So in this case I'm passing in the combined directional vector for our player movement and this function makes sure that for each of the elements in this vector, so x, y and z, that they never exceed the value of 1. And that way, whenever the player moves diagonally, we can ensure that it won't move any faster than it would on a single axis. So you may have noticed that I've moved the multiplication for the movement speed from these two lines up here to down here. And that's simply because if we multiply by the movement speed earlier on up here, it would then become a part of this clamp. Which is something that we don't want because 9 times out of 10 this would have been clamped to 1, which is completely useless. So that's why we have the movement speed out here separate from our clamp magnitude. And now, as you can see within the game, when we walk diagonal, we're not walking as fast as we were before. So really, this was just a short video showing you how to rectify this problem. If you find my content useful, then feel free to subscribe. And like always, I shall see you soon.